down here, one of the other bee yards, I've only got oh, three hives down here. That low one on the left is just a bunch of uh, resource material that I have down here, hive boxes and whatnot. Uh, as you can see, it's a little neglected right now. I gotta get down here and do some mowing, but let's get into the hives and see what's going on. And uh, uh, I may or may not be bringing one or two more beehives down here. Uh, and then the rest of them will go to another location about, I don't know, 15, 20 miles away. But uh, let's, let's take a look here and see what we got. This one, very, I think this one here tried to re-queen. Yeah, there's nothing on the roof. Let's see what we got here. Ah, let's see what they got going on. Ooh, what happened here? This one's definitely been trying to requeen. There's virtually nothing in it. Let's see. I don't know. I'm starting to pull this out. This is a brand new one. Nothing really going on. This wind is. I really shouldn't be in here with this wind like this, but I don't know when else to do it. Well, we got cat brood here, so we got a queen somewhere. Yeah, and we got other larvae, so. Brood. See more cat brood. So we're just gonna pull through. This one's gonna pull through. Wind is blowing that smoke right off the top. That, that's not even getting down inside. Yep, so more cat brood, the queen cell there, but nothing's in it. Queen cup, nope, nothing's in it. So we have definitely got a queen in here somewhere. Laying, we got a little bit of development, or a lot of development on this end. I'm not gonna try to show it, but there's a lot of development there. And then there's this queen cell right there, queen cup. That's doing good. I'm not, ordinarily I'd be uh, splitting the brood up and checkerboarding in between just to kind of keep them uh, uh, occupied and, and not really think about swarming. But this one's kind of small, so I don't want to do that. Like that. This one I may have, uh, let's see here. So queen cells here and those bees are starting to get irritable. Yeah, queen cells here, but it's not cup, it's not, not capped rather. So again, we got development, we got a queen. I think I'm good to go. I don't need to see anything else. I'm gonna close this one right up. Before they get too irritable, whoops, I just squished a bunch. I didn't close it careful enough. Down here. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Oh, you know what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and come on right here. Take off. Put that queen excluder underneath. I know the queen's down below. It's hurt anyway, so go ahead and put her there. Now, Ordinarily, I'd let her build up, kind of come up so, up to the top chamber, and then about this time of year, I'd push everything down to the bottom, turn it into a uh, single brood, uh, brood box setup. But 
This one here has got a little slow start, so I think it requeened, but we'll see. All right, so this one, uh, I was down here a while ago and just added a couple of supers just to get them down here. They don't need them right now. So, although they got a couple of bees up top here. Smell. Or something going on. Oh, look at this. They're all up top here now. I gotta start pushing these ones down the bottom. This one, we got a little bit of a honey flow going on here over the last week or so. A little early this year. Everything seems early. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, looking back at some of my notes and stuff from last year, seems like they're ahead of schedule. This was a brand new uh, foundation that we put in. They've already pulled it out and they're filling it, which is good. What I'm gonna try to do is any type of brood, and if the queen is up top, uh, I want to push them down to the bottom and then turn them into a single brood and then I won't say walk away but monitor them a little bit less intensely as far as going frame to frame after this. Again, if they're packing a wreath straight full of nectar, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to check about this. I'm going to put the full one on the outside. That one's not far from it. I guess is the queen's up top here somewhere, but I could be wrong. This is one of last year's uh, carniolans. All these down here are actually. So we got a little bit of brood up top, so this queen might actually be up here. Yeah, we got some drone cells over here. See these, these ones here that kind of puff out? Those are drone cells versus these ones that are no, I don't really have any over here. A few of them that haven't haven't hatched out yet. The, the ones that are flat, that are kind of dark, those are regular brood. Those are going to be worker bees here shortly. I don't see the queen. Eventually, if I don't find the queen without spending an enormous of time, I'll get a shaker box and just shake everything down to the bottom. And then... Uh, one method. Actually, what I'll do is I'll do is I'll use a different method where I'll just separate the two with the queen excluder, come back in about a week, and whichever one has the, the brood in it, that's the queen, and then I can focus on putting that on the bottom. Again, brand new, brand new. They've already got this filled out, or almost filled out, this side, and they're working on this side, and they're packing that right full of honey, looks like. Yeah, this one's doing really good. These are starting to get irritable again. Again, same thing. They've already drawn out a brand new one on the other side and partially on this side. So I think what I'm going to do is, yeah, we'll finish going through this. There's not enough up here to make me think that the queen is up top other than that one frame over here. I could be wrong, but who knows? Look at all this. Yeah, this is all, well, the queen might be up top. This is all brood that she laid. So she'd been a busy and she didn't want to wait for them to finish drawing out the comb. So she filled out half of it, moved on to another spot to lay more. So. This one, I can see a bunch of honey in it. All kinds of honey. Up around the edges. Ah, oh, that's heavy. Oh my God, that queen is up here somewhere. Look at all that brood. This is a really, really good frame. And the next one looks even as good. We got a bunch of cells on the bottom here. Those cups on the bottom, there's nothing in them. So there's 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight queen cups on this one that has nothing in the bottom, nothing in them, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave them. I want that brood towards the middle. I'm gonna push them this way because I want that, that nest closer to the middle. So I'll put the empty frame on this end. That'll push everything back over towards the middle and hopefully they'll keep the food and everything towards the other end of the edges. Again, this is a brand new frame I give them. That's all, all brood. This is a wonderful queen. I like this queen a lot. And again, we got more queen cells on the bottom. A lot of people would smash those down. I generally don't. I just keep an eye on them. And when they start, when I see something in them, then I'll, uh, I'm going to try to uh, manually swarm by splitting the hive and moving the old queen somewhere else and keeping the new ones there. And this one's just packed with full of pollen. All that orange stuff and down in there is a bunch of pollen and a bunch of other nectar in there. Really, really like this hive. I'm going to take that one here that's not really filled out. Put it in closer. Put this one out towards the edge. And then put this one in here. Alright, so now this thing, what we're going to do now is I still want, I want to take a look down here. Look at this hive. This hive is doing wonderful. Get old treatment off. Honey, we got honey on the bottom, brood on the top, honey on the bottom. <laughs> that's all honey. And that's all honey. If there's brood here, my guess is it's back over here because it's right below where the brood was on top. Again, drawn out comb, nothing else. pounded in there. I'm going to take quite a bit and clean up this, this frame a little bit. Oh, there we go. Making a mess. Should get me a wax bucket to put all these wax cappings in. I scrape off. But one of these days I'll remember it. Nothing but honey. Honey, honey, honey. They've got the honey on the bottom and the root on the top. So far. This next frame or two will tell us. These just like being in my way. And we got some brood down here. A little bit of brood on this side. One queen cup here. A cup right there. A little bit of honey on the corners. Same thing over here, brood, queen cup, what's that? What's that? Okay, queen cup that I, that I partially closed, <laughs> nothing in it. All right, so we do have brood. So what I want to do, I want to put all the brood together. Down here, and the brood 
We're gonna put it all up in one. We want to put the the the, uh, the brood on the bottom. One. The bees are somewhat calm right now, which is unusual because it's kind of a windy day. Nothing. Yep. One more to do here. And a little bit of brood. Lots of brood. So that one's gonna come in here. And honey. A little bit of brood. Ah, uh, this one's full. Well, what I'm gonna do is, my guess is I got the queen up top, and that's why they're packing so much honey down the bottom. That's just a guess. So what I'm gonna do is, put all the honey in here. And now I'm gonna rotate the boxes. I'm gonna put the brood on the bottom and the honey on the top. That's my goal at least. This might get a little riled up, so. It's getting heavy. Lots of food there. And then we need a clean excluder. I know for certain I've got the queen down below. I'll put this one first. And then the honeys. These are my uh, my uh, comb honeys that I'm going to be using. It'd be nice if they filled them both up. That would give me quite a few packages of comb honey I can sell. I get a lot of people that really enjoy it. And I don't think I'll have any problem selling it. Alright, so there's that one. One of my pliable in the covers. And again, I, uh, I've already put a honey one up here. It's actually a deep one, but I'm going to turn it into a straight honey. And I know the queen's not there, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Oh, sorry, the queen's not there. What's going on up here? I don't remember putting anything up top. I see a lot of bees here. Look at that, they're pulling this stuff out. Mm. Cool. So, they're pulling out stuff on this one here that was 100% uh, plain comb, a uh, plain uh, foundation. So let's go ahead, pull this off. And it looks like it's gonna be a repeat of the last one. Sure, the queen isn't hanging out on my queen squid. I gotta clean these things. I don't like having my stuff this dirty. Not really dirty, but filled up with a bunch of old wax and whatnot. So I'm not gonna go frame by frame through this. I'm just gonna pull out a few, see what I got, and maybe just hope that the queen is down bottom. sense them they're a little they're a little nervous right now you can always tell when they're at their attitudes change food and food I'm gonna step off and assume that she's down bottom could be wrong but Food. 
and food. So yeah, I'm gonna say she's down the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, these, they get a little riled up. I may have to. Just go ahead, put this here. Yeah, they're getting riled up now. Put this here. Put this here. That's a guess. We'll come back in a week to make sure that the queen is down below. And uh, I'd like to get down there and look for swarm cells or anything like that, but it's still a little breezy. It's later in the day. Um, I'll try to hold off till the weekend for that. When I have a little bit more time, but uh, there we have it. So, nope, that one's all empty. There's just nothing but boxes there. So, that's all we have. We'll, uh, this is the bee yard down here below, and uh, it does okay year to year. It's, it's, nothing, it's nothing spectacular, but uh, I figure out of the, uh, what did I have down here last year? Between four and six hives at any given time. Um, they were all first year hives. And I pulled uh, maybe 100 pounds total out of out of this field. Uh, this year, they're second year hives, so they're already established. I only have three hives down here right now, but uh, I may might bring, bring down a couple more. But I'm hoping to get, I'd like to get 150 pounds out of this field, 150 to 200, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see how much work they've got to do and how, how the weather holds up. But anyways, thanks for watching.